So convert ahara into aushada. That is the unique concept of Ayurveda. Convert ahara into aushada. Same way, when there is emaciation, when there is protein reduction, when there is the muscle bulk is coming down, we prescribe panchagola churna in mudga yusha. You know, mudga yusha means the vegetable proteins are there and we can prescribe ajavam sarasayana with the panchagola churna. So, what is the current classical pranyavaradam? Cigarette smoking is injurious to health. It is written where? Uh, you got it, you got it. This, uh, this, it is written in the cigarette pack. We purchase it, read it, oh, very good. He takes it. This is Pranyavarana. Cigarette smoking is injurious to health, is written in the cigarette packet and we use it. Same way, Pranyavarana is there for the diabetic patient. How? Everyone, please follow, like, share, comment, and subscribe the Samyak Kanti channel. Thank you. See, Prameha is a disease of Mandaguna. Am I right? Where there is mandagini at insulin level or whenever there is mandagini and related srodorodha in the kosta, definitely there will be increase of kleda bhava which is called diabetes. So there should not be any mandagini in your manovaha srodas. Am I right? Yes. Again, manda yes only. Am I right? Yes. Okay, okay. See, see, jnana and agni are always considered together. So once you feel that your kosta is having very good agni mm -hmm. Definitely that will be manifested in almost all the activities which you do. So when we discuss Pramega, I can very well tell you definitely there will be a Mandagini at Dhadu level and insulin can be considered as a uh, factor of Agni and when insulin is not able to bring the normal metabolism, the unwanted Malabhavas are called Kleda and Mutrasya Kleda Vahanam, they will be leading to polyuria, Dugu Mutrada, Avila Mutrada, Prameha. Is it correct? Yes or no? Yes. See, I am not telling big, big things. I am telling only the clinical experience. So, the topic is clinical experience related with uh, Prameha. So, let us start with a case. You can see on the picture. See, it's a case of diabetic food. The patient had diagnosed as type 2 diabetes mellitus. I think this light can be off. Then only the picture will be clear. These two lights. Can you see? I think it's light. Okay, we will continue by the time. Okay, okay, okay. The patient is diagnosed with the type 2 diabetes mellitus more than 20 years duration. And the patient had also the coronary artery disease underwent central angioplasty. And you can see there was visible dhadu bhaga in the lower limb, necrosis in the lower limb. And you can see the big toe. The big toe is almost ulcerated. And the patient had done all the angioplasty, but the wound was not healing. And then the patient was subjected to Ayurvedic treatment. And you can see the wound is very big. Very big wound is very big. The, actually, the picture is taken after one month of the treatment. The previous pictures were there, but that is not here. And you can see uh, the pus pockets, which is here. You can, you can very well identify the pus pocket uh, in the lower uh, portion of the ulcer. And we started the Ayurvedic treatment with only three medicines. Only three medicines. The first medicine was Bhuggulu Tiktaka Kashayam. The second one was Nishakadagadi Kashayam. And third one was Bhuggulu Panchabala Churnam. Three medicines. Bhuggulu Tiktaka Kashayam, Nishakadagadi Kashayam and Bhuggulu Panchabala Churnam. And all the three medicines were continued for more than six months. And every month there was one periodical, episodical Vidyajana by Abhivakti Jorna. And once in every month there was localized Jaluga Vajarana. So these are the five treatments. I am telling you, Bhuggulu Diktar Kashayam, Nishagata Gari Kashayam, Bhuggulu Panchabada Jorna. And then every once in a month there is Vidyajana by Abhivakti Jorna. And then Pradeshika local Vektamosha by Jaluga Vajarana. Now let us see the complete uh, pictures. You can see. And you can see the vascularity being increased. 
and for that purpose we had given punarnava manduram you know the yoga punarnava manduram is available in uh, pandu yoga chikitsa and that was also given for one month in between and you can see the surrounding layer how the healing is promoted how the healing is promoted and the treatment principle logic i will tell you it is purely based on logic the logic was nishagadagadi is a yoga mentioned in traditional kerala books which is highly indicated for kleda shoshana and the diabetic cure and you know the medicines are present in the nishagadagadi are having kleda shoshana and then coming to the gugul panchamala churnam that was the main drug gugul panchamala churnam is mentioned in nadi varna chikitsa it is mentioned in nadi varna bhagandara chikitsa i will tell you the yoga for you gugul panchamala paligamsha magadiga cha tripalaja pradaksya tottudi kashayudam madulidam pushta bhagandara gunma gedikina so the word gedi indicates nadi varna the word gedi indicates nadi varna nadi varna can be considered as a sinus and that is why gugul panchamala churnam was given to my humble experience the best available ayurvedic antibiotic herbal is gugul panchamala churnam i can tell you anywhere the best available herbal not herbal mineral herbal ayurvedic antibiotic is not our gugul panchamala churnam that was given 5 gram with honey which is indicated madhu leedam and you very well know brana shonana sandana rovanam vaatalam madhu never ever underestimate the property of the anupana I am repeatedly telling Brana Shodana Sandana Ropanam Vatalam Madhu Brana Shodana removing the kleda by which the wound will be getting a faster healing Shodana Sandana promoting the healing and Ropanam Brana Shodana Sandana Ropanam Madhu So Madhu was the Anubana for Guguli Panjabala Churna And I told you Nishagata Gavi Guguli Panjabala Churna Guguli Tiktaka Kashayam Sarvan Anivapayan Megani Every Megha it is indicated and gugul rikta kashayam is indicated simply because of its property in the medo dadu and again it is indicated in pramevo badrava so you can see the uh, gradual improving in the healing rate you can again see the healing see the picture see the picture and now you can see the visible change the visible change from the uh, previous picture you can see see this uh, that that almost the upper layer is completely healed and you can see the uh, bit to this from this much to this much area the normal skin was coming and that is very well you can see in the picture the healing rate is uh, significantly high after uh, having this medicine and now you see it is coming like this the lower end the sinus was there and you can see the picture again and the, from the above downwards the healing was coming see now the almost the entire bitto is covered the entire bitto is covered and the healing is visible see this picture is very clear from all this area peripheral area to the central area the healing was there and only it is uh, very much uh, very much uh, limited area is uh, remaining and you can again see you can again see the picture the brana is always uh, fresh that is why brana shodana sandana ropanam vadalam madhu see now we can you see the the complete picture is there the bitto which was indicated for amputation the bitto which was indicated for amputation you can see the picture and that is somewhat lost here you cannot see the normal shape of the uh, bitto but the remaining area got healed and finally the wound size was getting uh, reduced again you can see the picture see now it is again further the size reduction is visible and now you can see the, the, the area can you see the area from this much area from this much area of course the shape of the thumb the shape of the bitto is not normal but it was indicated for amputation and you can see all the areas were healed and no other a uh, medicine was given other than our medicines but continuously for more than 6 months we have given the medicine and you can see you can compare the both let so this is what i am telling but you have to think the uh, real uh, benefits of ayurvedic treatment only in the basis so i will tell you the logic of this treatment because this is an experience by me every time whenever you are treating the prameha even though even though you are measuring all the modern diabetic investigation 
always try to analyze what is the dosha status. Please listen carefully. We will be getting HD on C value, we will be getting the PPBS, we will be getting the FBS, we will be getting every picture. But identify how the Pramega is transforming, transforming from Kapha to Pitta to Vadasi. That is very important. 90% of the Ayurvedic physicians are neglecting this component. I am telling, please listen. Every diabetes, every Pramega will be generally starting with a Kapha dominant stage. There will be more Kleda. Then it will go to the Pitta domination where you can see vascular events are there. There will be episodes of vascular involvement. You know the microangiopathy and macroangiopathy. Angiopathy means the vessels. So micro means the small blood vessels are affected. Macroangiopathy means the bigger blood vessels are affected. And in diabetes you very well know, once there is microangiopathy, the small blood vessels of the retina are affected. And the small blood vessels of the kidney are affected. Then you are getting retinopathy and nephropathy and once the bigger blood vessels are affected, we call it as macroangiopathy, then there will be diabetic food, coronary artery disease and even cerebrovascular accident. So my point is very simple, next time, take a decision today, next time you just go through the value of all reports, but identify the patient sitting in front of you belong to a Kapha stage or a Pitta stage or a Vada stage. Are you getting me? I am telling the classical pure uncontaminated and diluted Ayurveda. You can see PPBS, HBA1C, whatever is there. But identify whether your patient is Kapha stage of Prameha, Pitta stage of Prameha, Vada. I will tell you how it is possible. Very simple. I am telling only the practically feasible and possible things only. When there is a Kapha Prameha, definitely there will be all the... There will be all the Medo Dushti, Rasa Dushti and Kapha Dushti. Definitely patient will be comparatively obese. Body mass index may be high. And the Seda will be more. Angaganda will be more. Everything will be having Sandarpana in nature. The Kleda will be more. And generally the Kapha stage of Pramega will be lasting for more than 10 years. If the patient is maintaining with the diet, the drug and the exercise. Then gradually Kapha Chaya will occur and the episode will go to Pitta. How you will identify in Pitta stage of Pramega, you will be getting all vascular issue. Recta Vahas, Rodo Roda will be evident. There will be a diabetic dermopathy, all the black colors will appear in the lower limb. You can see the peripheral blood vessels are affected, diminished pulse are there and development of diabetic ulcer etc. will be showing that your Pramega is in the Pitta stage. Okay. Then even after if you are not controlling by the proper diet and the other components, definitely the diabetes will go to a Vada stage where definitely there will be Dadushaya. How you can see the person will become lean, they will lose the body weight and definitely there will be myonecrosis. That word is important, myonecrosis and easily the patient will tell the size of the thigh is reduced, the gluteal muscles are getting wasted and we call it as diabetic amyotrophy. Remember the term, diabetic amyotrophy. So visible mamsa chaya will be there. They will definitely tell that thigh size is getting reduced, the gastronomous calf muscle size is getting reduced and the gluteal muscles is getting reduced. Then identify it is a Vada Prameha. So now what is the conclusion? The value may be 180, 200 to 230 but behind the value there is a dosha. Whether it is Kapha, whether it is Pitta, whether it is Vada, that we always uh, simply ignore. And now I will tell you, Kapha Prameha with Medo Dushti Definitely go for Srodo Shuddhi Gara Chikilsa. Pitta Prameha with Medo Dushti, go for Pitta Samana Chikilsa and always apply Pitta Rasa. Because Pitta Rasa drugs are excellent against Pitta and Medas. Are you getting me? Yes, yes. yes or no? I cannot see your face. Yes, yes. But you can see my face. Yes. Okay, so what I am telling? What I am telling? When the Pitta Jha stage, Pitta Rasa drugs are very important. Why Tiktarasa drugs? Tiktarasa drugs are the yellow drugs which can work on Medo Dushti and it is in very good against Pitta. And Tiktarasa will definitely cause Agni Deevan also. That is why we are prescribing Pitta Kashayam, Panja Dikta Kashayam, Guggul Dikta Kashayam. Now you are getting the logic. Guggul Dikta Kashayam and even Guduchiya Di Kashayam. All the medicines which are having Tiktarasa will be having action on Medo Dadu. Pitta Samanam, Rekta Prasadanam, Agdini Divanam. That is the middle stage. And finally, when the Pramega is becoming Vatiga, Madhume Hitto Mabanna, Vishakvi Parivardida, you have to think about Brahmana, but that Brahmana should not increase Kapha and Medas. 
that is why silajadu like drugs are coming silajadu like drugs which are having wonderful action as rasayana should be given in madhumeha stage madhumeha means madha dominant stage madhumehitva mabanna pishakmi parivardhita silajadu tula madhyal prameharto punarnava the best practical example is shiva guliga there is a tablet called shiva guliga an excellent drug which contains silajadu i will tell you why silajadu in my place we widely given kanmada basma silajadu basma chandra prapa guliga silajadu uh, containing shiva guliga simply because silajadu possess unique property of chedana sarvanta tishtagadagam na atyushtam kadupagadaha chedanam cha visheshena what is the word chedana in pharmacology of ayurveda it is nothing other than removing the insulin resistance are you getting me so chedana means there will be insulin resistance that will be always removed by silajadu the best anubana for this drug is asanadi kashayam <coughs> asanadi kashayam and you know why asanam asana is therocarpus marsupial and there are two drugs called asanam and khadiram both are we are using sara the sara component is the hard wood and asana khadiras are excellent action in against insulin resistance that is why when there is pcod when there is obesity pcod and a diabetic risk the first choice is asana digana kashaya only why asanadar vijayade chitra kushta kapakrimi pandi yogam prameham cha medo dosha nibargana so my point is identify kapha stage pitta stage vada stage along with available laboratory investigation then only you are classically addressing prameha are you getting me yes or no so what i am telling is when you are getting a vadiga prameha i will tell you how you will identify the patient will definitely tell about the shula and the shosha i am telling you apart from the hyperglycemia apart from the polyuria polydipsia polyphagia which are the typical diabetic clinical features vadiga paitiga kapaja prameha ubadravas are important we never give much attention vadiga prameha ubadrava next time when you approach a patient of diabetes with more than 15 years the slogan which i am going to tell will be relevant in the patient vadiga na mudavarta kanda kritdraka lolata shula munnidrada shosha jwara kasascha jayade shula will be there due to diabetic neuropathy pricking pain shosha will be there due to diabetic amyotrophy shosha so my point is very simple vagbada very beautifully tells the clinical features of vadiga prameha upadrava where diabetic polyneuropathy we call it as bilateral distal polyneuropathy i think you know the terminology bilateral distal polyneuropathy where the both legs the sole will be having numbness and they will be feeling pada harsha are you getting the complaint in the patient ask the patient who are having more than 15 years of diabetes mellitus they will be telling that sir my foots are not having the normal sensation i feel that i am using the socks using the gloves the gloves to have sensation and they will be when they touch the ground they will feel that they are touching on a paper and they are they may not be having the normal grip on the chappals they cannot run behind the running vehicle the chappal will not be having grip and then they will be very much applying pressure and then there will be foot drop there will be foot drop so my point is very simple bilateral distal polyneuropathy which is mentioned as pada harsham in ayurveda is very well suggesting that the prameha is in vadiga state and then definitely think about the grudha kalpana like dhanvandaram grudha there is only one grudha kalpana mentioned in entire prameha chikitsa that is dhanvandaram grudha normally we want prescribe the grudha in prameha thinking about the lipid damage but dhanvandaram grudha is mentioned in prameha in my place we use 15 g dhanvandaram grudha and 5 g tripala churnam mixed it together and given every day at bed time to prevent the risk of diabetic polyneuropathy because you very well know dhanvandaram grudha is a grudha yoga vadasya upakrama sneha grudha kalpanas are very much effective in preventing the dhaduga the damage at majja dhadu i am telling you that disturbances caused by the ischemia to the peripheral nerve is manifested as diabetic neuropathy there is a blood vessel called the vasa nervorum vasa nervorum which is supplying the peripheral nerve when that is occluded the nerve will be undergoing death that is what is called the crying nerve that is what is manifested as kara pada daham you know kara pada daham if there is kara pada daham pitta avastha pitta gadrudam 
ഉദ്വർത്തന യുനോ ധാന്യാമ്ല ധാര മീൻസ് യുനോ ദ കാഞ്ചികം ധാന്യാമ്ലം ഈസ് ടേക്കൺ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് അപ്ലൈഡ് ആസ് ധാര ദാറ്റ് കാൻ ബി ഡൺ ഇൻ ടു വേ ഐ ആം ടെലിംഗ് ദ ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഓഫ് ഡയബറ്റിക് ഹോളി ന്യൂറോപതി ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് തിങ് ഈസ് യു കാൻ ഡു ഉദ്വർത്തന വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഉദ്വർത്തന ഉദ്വർത്തന മീൻസ് മസാജ് വിത്ത് പൗഡർ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ബെനിഫിറ്റ് വെൻ യു ഡു ഉദ്വർത്തന യു കാൻ വെരി വെൽ സീ ദ സെൻസിറ്റിവിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദി ഇൻസുലിൻ ടു ദ ഗ്ലൂക്കോസ് ഈസ് ഹൈലി ഇൻക്രീസ്ഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇൻക്രീസിംഗ് ദ ഇൻസുലിൻ സെൻസിറ്റിവിറ്റി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഉദ്വർത്തന What is Uddhartanam? Uddhartanam, Kapagaram, Medasaka Pravilayanam, Sthirigaranam Anganam, Tukprasadagaram Param. I am telling from the fundamentals, Uddhartanam, Kapagaram, Medasaka Pravilayanam, Lipolactic Action, and this Tukprasadanam and Sthirigaranam Anganam. In my place, we select Kola Pulatthadi Churnam. I think you are familiar with the yoga, Kola Pulatthadi Churnam, mentioned by Charaka Samkhita Sutrasaram Arambudiyam Chapter. There are so many Pradeha Uddhartana Yogas mentioned by Charaga in Sutra Saram chapter Aragudiyam. The first yoga what I am telling is uh, Kola Bulatana Jurnam. So that can be given. And second option is Tripala Jurnam. So Uddhartana is the first treatment if there is Kapanu Gandham. How you will identify there is Kapanu Gandham in the patient, Supti will be there. I am telling you the drug, I am telling you the drug and I am telling you the clinical feature. When there is Kapanu Gandham, the clinical feature will be Supti. When there is Vadana Bandham, the clinical feature will be Shula. When there is Pitana Bandham, the clinical feature will be Daha. Are you getting me? So when there is Supti, Nambinas, Kapana Bandham, Uddhartanam, Yoga, Koravulatthadi Jurnam, Tripala Jurnam. And when there is Pitana Bandham, Daham, Burning Sensation, Kara, Pada, Daham, definitely think about Perineuritis. Perineuritis, then think about Danyamra Dara. And Danyamra Dara can be done in two ways. First you can do a Abhyanga with the Chida Bala Thailam or Pinna Thailam, then do the Danya Pradara. Otherwise, without Abhyanga, directly go for the Danya Pradara. So that is called Pada Dhakam. So my dear friends, now my, my very, very sincere request to you, read Pada Garsham and Pada Dhakam from Vada Vyadi. Pada Garsham, Kapha Domination and Pada Dhakam, Pitta Domination, both are very much important in Praveka. So my only point is this much. You have to identify the involved dosha in different stages of the pranayaka in your patient. And then you will be getting more yoga. I will tell you one important yoga which I have done for Snegabana in hyperlipidemia and diabetes mellitus. Because I am not telling all the theory, I am telling the experiences only. Hyperlipidemia and diabetes can coexist. Because Medodushti will be there. And Tiktana Gurda was selected for Snegabana. You know, Snehavana was done, then Shodhana, after that, Varanadi Kashayam was given in Jainali. So my point is, hyperlipidemia and diabetes mellitus, the best option is Tiktaka Gurdam. Why Tiktaka Gurdam? That is the best Gurda in Pitta Shamanam and Medo Shoshagam. Tiktaka Sa is Medo Shoshagam because Gurdam is Samskara and Vartanam. Then after that, you prescribe Varanadi Kashayam. Why Varanadi Kashayam? Varanadi Kavam Medo Mandhaginitam Niyachadi Antyavadam Sirasyulam Gulmamcha Andasa Vidrali So any time after having the Virejana, after having the Snegabana Gopur Varanadi So point is very simple, identify the Dosha Vikalpa in your patient next time Don't rely only upon the laboratory investigation, very clear So first stage Kapajam Second stage Pittajam, third stage Vadigam. How you will identify? Kapha stage will be obesity, more Kledam, more Sedam, more Shaidilyam. Pitta stage more Dagam, more vascular complication and involvement of the skin. And Vada stage diabetic neuropathy, diabetic amyotrophy, Shula, Shosha, Dadu Shayam, Oja Shayam, the patient will become lean. Gurda Galpana, example, Dandam Diram Gurdam. That is the logic. And coming to the diabetes, everybody know all these fundamentals I am not telling. And coming to the classification also type 1, type 2, other specific types, gestational diabetes. That is very important. Nowadays we have to pay more attention. That is why the, those who are having PCOD, those who are having PCOD, those who are having obesity, 
definitely there can be a risk of gestational diabetes, then definitely prescribe asanadi kashayam, varanadi kashayam. My point is very simple, when there is PC body or when there is insulin resistance, definitely avarana shamana chikilsa should be done. Insulin resistance means avarana shamana chikilsa should be done. There are two important drugs, varanadi kashayam, asanadi kashayam. Asanadi kashayam is very much famous because when Ajayana is telling about Ayaskrivi, I think you might have heard about a Kalpana called Ayaskrivi. You know what is Ayaskrivi? You will be preparing the uh, Ayaskrivi by heating the Loha Danda. You will be uh, heating the, uh, uh, the iron metal piece and then this heated iron metal piece will be dipped in the Kashaya prepared with Asana. So Asana is having that much of action against insulin resistance, so Asana Dhikanam can be given. So what we do, those who are having obesity, family history of diabetes mellitus, even a PC body, when they are pregnant, definitely asana, asanadi, varanadi, etc. should be given. That is the preventive protocol. Then cardinal symptoms, everybody know. I am just giving the fundamentals for your quick reference. Polyuria, polydipsia, polyphagia. See, all the three words are indicating medo dushti. Polyuria, you are getting medu mutrada. Polydipsia, that is trishna. You know, in diabetes, it is clearly mentioned that Sida Priyatam Gela Tal is Shosha. Are you following me? Yes. yes. I think you are familiar with these words now. We always talk about the diabetes, 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 forgetting our Prameha. Our Prameha is sleeping in the textbook. <laughs> diabetes is everywhere. So I am telling you, Gela Tal is Shosha. Why Gela Tal is Shosha? Gela Tal is Shosha is very simply telling that there will be increased polydipsia. And Gala Tali Sosha means Udaga Vaha Dushti. When there is excessive Kleda removal through the Mutra, definitely due to the excessive Sveda Chaya, there will be always Udaga Vaha Dushti and Krishna. That is why Ajarya told Chida Priyatam Gala Tali Sosha and then definitely Polyphagia. Due to the Medo Avarana, Agni will become more highlighted and the patient will be feeling more appetite. I am telling you a very important point. When there is central obesity, when there is central obesity, lambodaram, metabolic syndrome, definitely there will be medo, avarnam, agni will be more and the patient will be craving for food. You know, gajananam, bhuda, ganadi, sevidam, kavitta, jambu, pala, sarapachinam, umasudam, baki. Remaining. You are not Ganesha fans, no? <laughs> gajananam, bhuda, ganadi, sevidam, kavitta, jambu, pala, sarapachinam. Umasudam, Soga, Vinasa, Garanam, Namami, Vigneshwara, Bada, Bangaja. There is no diabetes and Ganesha here. But I am telling you what is the menu given by Parvati to Ganesha. It is not Laddu, Jilebi, Modaga. It is Kavitta, Jambu, Bhala, Sara, Pachinam. Are you getting me? I am not telling. Kavitta is the best cholesterol drug in Ayurveda. Jambu is the best diabetic drug in Ayurveda. I am not joking. What is the synonym of Ganesha? Lembo, Dharam. Do you believe? Lembodharam. What is Lembodharam? Central obesity only. I am also a Ganesha fan. Central obesity only. What is Stula in Ayurveda? Medha, Mamsa, Adi, Vridda, Tuvad, Chalasvi, Gudara, Stanaha, Ayata, Uvajaya, Ulsaho, Naro, Adi, Stula, Muchade. One who is having Stikthano, Dara, Vardada. So what I am telling, whenever there is Medho, Vridhi in abdomen, Medho, Vridhi with the central obesity, definitely Medho, Avrda, Akbada will Deny the agony, so there will be polyphagia. So, my dear friends, you cannot treat a diabetes patient with a fresh duration without a controlling Resa Dushti and Medo Dushti. 100%. Resa Dushti and Medo Dushti should be controlled very well if the patient is below 5 year or below 8 year of duration with diabetes. Because Resa Dushti will be leading to Dhadugada Mala because Resa is doing the Prenana Karma. And Medo Dushti will be definitely there with insulin resistance. So, all the drugs should be Rasa Medo Haram. And you very well know, Rasa Medha both are related with which dosha? Kapha dosha only. So, Kapha is Guru Snigda, Rasa is Guru Snigda, and Medha is Guru Snigda. That is why Guru Snigda, Sida Aharas are to be avoided in acute state. And all the Aharas with Guru Snigda properties are coming under high glycemic index. Yes or no? Yes. All the properties of the Guru Snigda Aharas are coming under high glycemic index and high glycemic index will be leading to Mutrasya Kleda Vahanam. Kleda means glucose. 
The jelly ruba malabhavas are called kleda. Whatever is removed through the water medium, jelly ruba malabhava kleda. That is why Vakbada beautifully told Mutrasya kleda vahanam. So kleda shoshaka drugs are important. That is why I am telling you about all tiktaras are drugs, medohara drugs, and resa prasadan are drugs. So by what I am telling, we very well know type 2 diabetes mellitus, insulin resistance, type 1 diabetes mellitus. Definitely there will be an absolute deficiency of insulin in both you are getting different treatment protocol. One important point I am telling you, everybody please follow me. Follow me. Type 2 diabetes mellitus is equal to Sandarpana Prameham is equal to Kapaja Prameham is equal to Avarana Prameham is equal to Prameha with insulin resistance. Getting or not? Follow me carefully. Type 2 diabetes is literally equal to Sandarpana Prameha, is equal to Kabaja Prameha, is equal to Avarana Prameha, is equal to with insulin resistance. Type 1 diabetes mellitus is equal to Krisha Prameha, is equal to Vadiga Prameha, is equal to Dhadushaya Prameha, is equal to absolute insulin deficiency. So this is the beautiful way how you can correlate type 2 and type 1 in Ayurveda beautifully. Type 2, Kapanu Dandam, Medo Anitandam, Avaranam, Sandarpanam, treatment is Medo Haram. Type 1, Vada Anitandam, Krisham, Dadushayam and absolute deficiency of insulin. There are two types of problem. Relative deficiency of insulin is type 2. Absolute deficiency of insulin is? I think it is very clear. Absolute deficiency of insulin is type 1. What is absolute and relative deficiency? If Govagumar is here, Govagumar is vanishing suddenly. Absolute deficiency of Govagumar. Govagumar is still here, I am sleeping. Even though I am here, I am sleeping. You are sleeping. Relative deficiency of Govagumar. No benefit is there. So now you understood. No, that is why. Now the students are not understanding, not because of the proper comparison. Comparison only. So, absolute deficiency, Vadigam, relative deficiency, Kapajam, that is the fundamental point. Okay. In any freshly diagnosed diabetes check, infection, hypoglycemia, ketosis, coma, cardiovascular event, neurovascular accident, all these things are related with micro, macro, angiopathy. The two terminologies are very important. You know, when you read the Pramega Purva Yuba, when you read the Pramega Purva Yuba, you can see the angioplasty also mentioned there. When Bhagavad wrote the slogan Pramega Purva Yuba, there was no angioplasty. But there is a term, Krim Netra Jikua Sramana Oba Deha. Are you getting me? I am telling you the Pramega Purva Yuba. Svedanga Ganda, Siddhilattu Mange, Shaiyasana, Sopna, Sukhavi Shanga, Krim Netra Jikua Sramana Oba Deha, Kanangada, Kesha Nakhadi Vriddi, Siddha Priyatam, Galatari Shosha, Madhurniya Masiye, Karapada Daha, Kavishyadu, Meha Ganasya Rubam, Mutri, Abhidabandi, Pibili Gansha. What is the second line? Clearly telling, Krim Netra Jikua Sramana Oba Deha. How he can tell? There is coating in Hridaya and Netra. How he can tell? Because Hridaya cannot be seen. Coating in the tongue can be seen by Jikua Parisha. Second is Netra Oba Deha. There is coating in Netra. You just go to the proliferative type of diabetic retinopathy. You are getting that there is macula redima. You are getting that there is diabetic ischemia. So there is Netra Oba Lebatthom and Hridaya Oba Lebatthom. Hridaya Oba Lebatthom is nothing other than development of atherosclerosis which can be evidenced only by angiogram. Am I right? Only angiogram, you will be getting the picture of a block in the heart. But Ayurveda told in Pramega Purva Yuga that there can be Netra Ubadeha and Jikua Ubadeha. Are you getting me? That is why all the clinical features mentioned in Ayurveda and modern are having a link through the microangiopathy, macroangiopathy. I will tell you one important modern point and you will believe more easily. You know there is an episode called vascular endothelial dysfunction. You know, VED, vascular endothelial dysfunction, I will explain it because then you will salute Bhagavad and Susurda about the srodas. What is endothelium? The innermost lining of the blood vessel is called endothelium. So the endothelium is the innermost lining of the blood vessel and endothelium is secreting certain chemicals which will decide how much the artery should contract and shrink. 
how much an artery should dilate and constrict is decided by certain chemicals which are produced by the endothelium and that is why the substances like nitric acid we are giving in heart attack. All the components are created by endothelium. So that is why endothelium is secreting certain substances so the word Sravana Srodhamsi is applicable. Are you getting me? Normally we are telling that Srodhasasa Sravana Srodhamsi but we never teach that any Srodhasi is secreting. We are telling that Mutravaha Srodhas, Purishavaha Srodhas, Annavaha Srodhas, Pranavaha Srodhas but I am telling you when you use the terminology Rektavaha Srodhas the endothelium is secreting the chemicals, so Sravana Srodhamsi is highly applicable to Rektavaha Srodhas. Micro means small, macro means big. Angiopathy. So, micro angiopathy, macro angiopathy are nothing other than Sushma Stule Rektavaha Srodho Dushti mentioned in Ayurveda. That is why most of the yogas mentioned in Rektavaha Dushti are apt in Pramega, like Kushta Jigilsa is as such applicable in Pramega. Vadarekta Jigilsa is as such applicable in Prameha. You know, Triple I is indicated in Kushta, Triple I is indicated in Prameha, and same Triple I is indicated in Vadarekta. So, because Triple I is Tokja, the clay, the Shoshana. So, my point is very simple. The clinical features mentioned in the modern medicine are simply the product of micro, macro, angiopathy. They are nothing other than the Sushma, Stula, Rekta, Vaha, Srodo, Dushti that is to be kept in your mind. See, when there is diabetes with the carbuncles, you know, Prameka Pidaga, diabetes with the carbuncles are there, my first choice is Padola, the Ganam and Nimba, the Ganam. Nimba, the Kashayam and Padola, the Kashayam are mixed together because Nimba, the Kashayam is excellent in Prameham and the Pushtam and remove the Prameka Pidaga, diabetic carbuncle. And the Padoladi is a gana which is highly creating Koshtaka the Shodhanam and Pitta Savanam. Padola Padilohuni Chandanam Madhusrava Guluji Padanidam Nikandi Kapa Vitta Vishamajuram Visham Bami Marojagam Kamala. So combination of Padoladi Kashayam plus Nimbadi Kashayam can be given in any diabetes where there is Rekta Dushti and Prameka Pidaga. Because you are creating Rekta Vaha Srodhu Shuddhi. Are you getting me? Rekta Vaha Srodho Shuddhi means micro angiopathy, macro angiopathy, less chances of occurrence. Okay. In any freshly diagnosed diabetes check, whether there are any comorbidities, hypertension, ischemic heart disease, cerebrovascular disorder, long term complications. If complications are present, the presentation is acute, specific, or specialist care may be given. It is very important to discuss with the cerebrovascular accident and diabetes. You know, if you see the Prameha Chikilsa, you can very well see that definitely Hrin Netra Jikwa Sravanova Deha is there. If there is a Hridaya Gada Upalepada, that may be a plate, that may be a thrombus, which can be detached by Vada Pragoba, then the detached thrombus can go to the brain as an embolism leading to cerebrovascular accident. Are you getting me? Yes. You have studied Vimarga Gamana Masti Srodo Dushti. Adi Pravarti Sango Vasidha. Are you feeling all these roses? No. Are you feeling? No, not feeling. See, sometimes most of the Ayurvedic doctors are thinking that slogas are shoga karana. Slogas are shoga karana because whenever I remember the sloga, I am getting shoga. In every CME, there are three dukkhas are there. You know, in Ayurveda, there are three dukkhas. What is Ayurveda, Trivita dukkha? Athyatmigam, Adi Bhaudigam. I think that you know. <laughs> okay. In CME also three dukkhas are there. The first one is organization dukkha, which they are experiencing. Second one is the speaker's dukkha, I am experiencing. And third one is the listener's dukkha, you are experiencing. Okay. So so here also here also I am telling you when we discuss about this slogan, he may feel little bit confused. But actually you forget the sloga. You come to the modern pathology, each word mentioned in Ayurveda can be applied even in the updated modern medical pathology provided your heart is so wide to accept books. I am telling the truth, there is a disease called Sijagraham. Just follow me. There is a disease called Sijagraham mentioned in Vada Vyadi. I am telling you. That is the first available evidence against a brain vascular pathology. Dekta Masritya Pavanaha Kuriyal Murda Dara Sira Ruchasa Vedana Krishna So Asadhyasa Siradraha is very much similar with cerebrovascular accident. I will, I will tell once again. 
രക്തമാശ്രിത്യ പവന കുരിയാൻ മൂർത്ത ധരാസ്ഥിര മൂർത്ത മീൻസ് ബ്രെയിൻ നോ ഡൌട്ട് ധര മീൻസ് നറിഷിൻ മൂർത്ത ധരാസ്ഥിര മീൻസ് ബ്രെയിൻ നറിഷിൻ ബ്ലഡ് വെസൽ വാദ ഇസ് ക്രിയേറ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ദ ഏരിയ ബിക്കംസ് ബ്ലാക്ക് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ബ്ലാക്ക് ഡ്യൂ ടു ഇസ്കീമിയ ദ ഏരിയ ഇസ് ബിക്കമിംഗ് ഇൻഫാക്റ്റഡ് ആർ യു ഗെറ്റിംഗ് മീ വെൻ ദ ബ്രെയിൻ ബ്ലഡ് വെസൽ ഇസ് ഒക്ലൂഡ് ദ നെയ്ബറിംഗ് സെറിബ്രൽ ഏരിയ വിൽ ബിക്കം ഇൻഫാക്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ അപ്പിയർ കൃഷ്ണ so asadhyasya sirajagraha so ayurveda beautifully told a disease called sirajagraham where vada is creating a block in the blood vessel and the surrounding area is dying and there is a pathology in the blood vessels related with the brain so that is very much connected with the cerebrovascular accident so my point is very simple prameha initiates in the kosta prameha starts in the kosta but it will manifest in the uttamanga brain it will manifest in the hridaya marma it will manifest in the vasti marma leading to coronary artery disease diabetic nephropathy and the cerebrovascular accident that is why all the three marmas are equally involved in prameka samprapti because of the rectavaha srodo involvement that is what i am telling all the three marma diabetic nephropathy vasti marmam diabetic coronary artery disease hridaya marmam diabetic cerebrovascular accident the stroke shiro marmam because the common factor is rectal vahas rodas that is to be always analyzed and coming to the diagnosis everybody know cardinal symptoms premonitory symptoms general etiological factors hereditary factors is very important there are three diseases in ayurveda where you have to always think about the hereditary arshas kushta prameha arshas kushta prameha are the three disorders where you have to always think about the hereditary factors because kulaj bhavas are always there holy urea turbid urea everybody know and this is very important please please try to identify these features in a freshly diagnosed case of diabetes or a diagnosis or a diabetes which is less than 5 year duration these clinical features are there you make a scoring pattern i used to make a scoring pattern how you see sweating markedly increased increased not not that you can give mass 2 1 0 i am teaching you how to evaluate the clinical features symptomatically you can give it markedly increased you give it mark 2 to your patient and if it is only increased 1 not increased 0 so first visit you make a score then you prescribe varanadi kashaya masanadi kashaya visharadagadi kashaya two weeks then repeat the same scoring you can see the scoring will gradually come down that indicates that you can qualitatively quantitatively objectively subjectively assess how your drug is working then only you will believe that what is medo dushti what is the impact of medo dushti by sweating because sedam is the medo dadu mala sedam is the medo dadu mala so when sedam shame is coming there medo dushti is coming down whole body odor that is sedam anga bindha and increased then looseness of the body shaithilyam see the very important point in ayurveda shaithilyam is there where there is medo dushti and once you do vyayama vyayama sthairya karanam shrestha see according to modern medicine vyayama exercise is very best because it is increasing the insulin sensitivity it is utilizing the peripheral glucose and it is enabling the muscles to take maximum glucose by which the glucose conversion will come low that is the impact of exercise by modern medicine but ayurveda very beautifully tell lakavam karma samarthyam deepo agni meda sakachayam vibhakta kana gatratvam vyayama dubajade how beautifully both points are coming together according to modern the exercise will take muscles will be taking more glucose and dilatation of the blood vessels will be there and insulin resistance will be removed ayurveda is telling every point by one word vibhakta kana gatratvam vyayama dubajayade so vibhakta kana gatratvam is nothing other than your anga shaithilyam is reduced my point is medo dushti will be leading to anga shaithilyam and vyayama will repair it and correct to sharira sthirata shaithilyam to sthirata that is prameha medo dushti to vyayama that can be always measured and the tendency to rest this is very important this is very important you know sometimes our ayurvedic acharyas are talking in the languages of poets there is a beautiful poem by susruta he is telling a slogan like this see centuries back centuries back who started observing november 14 as world diabetic day recently only but even before that susruta told 
सजाडि गमना स्थानम स्थाना दासनम इच्छदि आसना दृढते शैया शैनाल सोबनम इच्छदि व्हाट इज द मीनिंग व्हाट इज द मीनिंग फॉलो मी केयरफुली सजाडि गमना स्थानम व्हाट इज दैट इफ आई एम गोइंग टू बी डायबेटिक व्हेन आई एम वॉकिंग आई वांट टू स्टॉप सजाडि गमना स्थानम एंड व्हेन आई एम स्टॉपिंग स्थाना दासनम इच्छदि आई विल सेलेक्ट वेदर देयर इज अ चेयर स्थानाद आसन मिच्छदि एंड व्हेन आई एम गेटिंग द चेयर आसनाद दृढते शैया आई विल सेलेक्ट वेदर देयर इज अ कोच एंड व्हेन आई एम गेटिंग अ कोच शैना सोबन मिच्छदि आई विल स्लीप कैन यू गेट एन एविडेंस अदर देन दिस फॉर अ सेडेंटरी लाइफस्टाइल यू आर गेटिंग मी नो द सेडेंटरी लाइफस्टाइल व्हाट वी आर ब्लेमिंग सुसुदा टोल्ड सेंचुरीज बैक इवन बिफोर डब्ल्यूएचओ व्हाट ही टोल्ड सजाबी गमना स्थानम स्थानाद आसन मिच्छदि आसनाद दृढते शैयां शैनाल सोबन मिच्छदि दैट इज अ सेडेंटरी लाइफस्टाइल सेडेंटरी लाइफस्टाइल इज अ टिपिकल फैक्टर दैट कैन नॉट बी द टेंडेंसी टू रेस्ट इन माय प्लेस व्हाट आई एम टेलिंग आई विल टेल द पेशेंट टू क्लाइम द स्टेप्स टू द सेकंड वार्ड एंड इन बिटवीन ही विल बी स्टॉपिंग शैना इट इज ऑलवेज सेडेंटरी ओनली मेदो दृष्टि ओनली दैट आई डिस्चार्ज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सी दैट पॉइंट i discharge subjective markedly increased increased not because all the jikwa netragata malas increased increase indicates medo dushti see my dear my dear friends all these things are mentioned in our science but we need to simply ignore karna mala netra mala increased means medo dushti but we may we never be only see ppbs fbs ppbs fbs am i right maximum hba1c there is no hba1c rasayanam in ayurveda there is no ppbs arishtam in ayurveda there is only medohagaram kavagaram pittagaram rakta prasadanam prodhosadanam if you are not able to understand the pathology in your own language how you are going to treat the medicines in your own language are you getting me so every time see all the properties and heaviness of the body subjective markedly in anga gauravam the feeling of gaurava that always indicates insulin resistance only so these things should be checked so my humble point is after the cme one of the outcome i am telling you we note the features and then you assess the features with a scoring pattern your patient tell some exercise tell some yoga tell some medicine tell some dieting and after one month repeat the scoring if you are able to bring down the score you can very well see that your assessment of dosha was right your treatment is also right this is what is called objective diagnosis and objective treatment in ayurveda with evidence okay then again like the cool surroundings that is very important see the priyatam see the priyatam the patient will be preferring see the priyatam dryness of the throat gala taal shosha dryness of the throat thirst trishna sweet taste feeling madhuryasida madhuryasida burning sensation kara pada daha and squatted in the urine mutri abhidabandi pipi all the lakshanas mentioned as purvarupa can be graded and quantified and subjected to periodical evaluation clear so this you do why i am telling then you will feel that my patient you are a very strong kapha meda pravehi after one year you will see your kapha is coming down you are becoming a pitta meda pravehi after 5 year i am not getting you any sweda you are going to be a vadiga pramegi from kava pramegha to pitta pramegha to vada pramegha it is a continuous clinical journey of tridosha which can be identified only by the quantitative analysis of vigalpa samprapti this is what is called vigalpa samprapti doshana samavedana vigalpo hamshamsha kalpana the fractional distribution of involved doshas in a pathogenesis can be identified that is called vigalpa samprapti then general etiological factors carbohydrate rich diet everybody know this is what is told, told in ayurveda sodamla levana snigdha guru pichila sidava ayurveda mentioned only one sentence sodu amla levana snigdha guru pichila sidala the diet with the high glycemic index the diet with the high glycemic index means after the digestion immediately the glucose will be liberated into the blood that is the difference between goduma and rice dear friends ayurveda indicates goduma in pramega chikitsa because goduma is having low glycemic index it is thyroid group so when you prescribe yava and goduma in diabetic care you are providing low glycemic diet which will never raise the glucose in a very fast way 
there is a practical treatment which we are doing in our place i am going to share with you you take yava churnam and keep it in tripala kashayam overnight next day morning take it are you getting me you keep yava churna 15 gram in a glass of tripala kashayam keep it overnight next day morning take it because tripala plus yava will be having low glycemic index so it will never shoot the or boost the glucose very fastly that is why low glycemic diet is very much important then you can see the lack of exercise stress is very much important why stress it is very clearly mentioned that autoimmune damage of the islets of langer hans can be promoted by stress you know in diabetes mellitus when there is autoimmune mediated damage of the islets of langer langer hans beta cell you will be getting less insulin that is provoked by stress according to ayurveda every time stress will be leading to vada pitta prakopam generally please follow me please follow me when you are having more chinda shogam bhayam which dosha will be shesh no doubt in pune trivandra it is vada only wherever you go it is vada only there is no separate pune gada vadam kerala gada vadam no only one vada when there is chinda shoga bhaya it is vada only when there is growth the anxiety that means hypertension activity which dosha pitta so generally stress will be leading to a vata pitta domination i have done my phd in stress only in it professionals i could see stress intolerance is maximum in vata pitta prakriti vata pitta prakriti people can no more tolerate stress if i am kava prakriti i can tolerate if i am vata prakriti and pitta prakriti combined together very difficult you know vanara vich prakriti mangi vich prakriti vata prakriti only can you imagine a mangi who is very much irritated pitta prakriti krodham and then naturally my dear friends gova kumar and you are becoming vata pitta mangis only in the contemporary lifestyle we are not able to tolerate anything that is what we see every day globally every day everywhere we are we cannot we cannot have any any tolerance so whenever there is rasakshayam whenever there is kavakshayam whenever there is ojakshayam vada pitta all stress response vada pitta dadu vagam autoimmune disease destruction of the beta cells over getting me yes or no yes. you want slow motion no. the last sentence no slow motion when you then you are excellent i was testing you whether you are sleeping or not because i cannot see you no i will identify who is sleeping and who is not sleeping and who is trying to escape from the sleeping by a simple point using ayurveda only using ayurveda only you know after the heavy lunch 2 o'clock dr gova kumar is coming to the class to teach the students ayurveda and you know after the strong heavy meal what is the dosha in the kosta you very well know the sloga bayo ho ratri bhukta naam te anda madhya adhika i will tell only classical reference okay so after the heavy meal in pune kerala everywhere kosta will be kapha no doubt what is nidra in ayurveda nidra sleshma tamo bhava nidra sleshma tamo bhava so now imagine gova kumar is in the classroom after the lunch i am telling three persons sitting in the front row of three persons the first person whoever may be you don't look here i am telling any three person okay any three person any three person first person is kapha is there because already lunch is there but he is having sattva guna in mind what he will think my kapha in the kosta is creating nidra but my sattva in mind tell mr gopa kumar is talking listen him he may tell some points if sattva means the bad lower kapha he will be opening the eyes and listening <laughs> okay then the second person is again having kosta with the kapha because means over he is rajoguna he belongs to rajoguna what he will do gopa kumar is talking i am getting sleeping what to do when gopa kumar is going there i will sleep when gopa kumar is coming here i will be blindly opening and she will listen the other person is also opening the eyes so i should also open rajo gunam fluctuation are you getting me and sometimes he may go behind the first person and in between he may sleep the extreme rajo guna person will sleep with the open eyes <laughs> I am repeatedly telling extreme rajo guna people will sleep with open the eyes and okay come to the third person he is also having kapha in the kosta because food but tamo guna what he will think gopa kumar aayega jayega mujhe sona hi sona 
he will be beautifully sleeping in the any crowd. Are you getting me? This is the impact of Vada, Pitta, Kapas in Sleshma and Nidra. Are you getting me? Nidra is always Sleshma, Tamo, Bhava. Depending upon the Sattva Guna, Tamo Guna, Kapha, Dejo Guna, we are accommodated. It's the same way I am telling you all the stress. I am telling you the last compound and stress. Stress will be evoking a Vada, Pitta, Prabhova simply because Chinda, Shoga, Paya, Vada, Prabhova Rodha, Pitta, Prabhova and Vada, Pitta personalities are having high anxiety episodes. They will be having stress and due to stress, definitely there is immunodepletion. The latest theory is psychoneuroimmunology. Psychoneuroimmunology. Psycho means manasigam. Neuro means brain. Immunology means the Vyadishamatam. In Ayurveda, psycho means mana. Neuro means vada. Immunology means ojas. And you very well know mana, oja, vada, vadi are interconnected. When there is manasigam nidana, ojakshaya. What is that? Ojakshaya de koba chudhyana shoga sramadhi. When ojakshaya, dadushaya. When dadushaya, vada pragoba brain damage. So what I am telling, the last component is very much important. That is why Ayurvedic biopurification, Manasika Jagilsa, Rasayana Jagilsa, Yoga, Pranayama, etc. are having very important role in the high life, thumb, high thumbed, fast life and the contemporary mechanical life because stress is very important. So my point is, Vada Pitta Prabhova can lead to stress, stress can damage immunity and immunodepletion, PNI theory is there. So, every, why I am telling all these things? Every point mentioned in our science is contemporary applicable. Then, hereditary, everybody know non diabetic in the first degree relative percent absent. I am telling all the scoring pattern non diabetic in the second degree relative percent, percent or absent, non diabetic in the distant degree. Percent or absent means immediately whether father is having diabetes, grandfather is having diabetes, that is also measured. Okay, now we will go to the management. Okay, now I am telling you we had conducted so many clinical surveys in the diabetics practicing physicians and we have, a, we have converted the data into certain presentable format. What are the popular medicines the doctors are prescribing against diabetes and what is the reason that is what I am going to share in the next slides. Time or what is time now? 320. Okay. Okay, so Ayurvedic management key features. I am telling you Ayurvedic management the key features. It is not intended for mere reduction of glucose level. It corrects the basic metabolic error. It prevents or delays the onset of complication. It improves the immunity power act at psychosomatic level. So these are the various features by which we select or we practice Ayurveda for diabetics. Okay. And coming to the management options. What are the options in management? Internal purification. That is mandatory. I am telling you, if you want to prevent the diabetes complication, periodical, episodical biopurification is must. I will tell you an example. The diabetes patients who are having glaucoma, you know gla glaucoma, Ocular hypertension will be there, such as glaucoma, IOP, intraocular pressure. Only by periodical viridana once in 15 days with Avivati Churna or Padola di Kashayan, you can significantly drop the IOP. So, what I am telling, Vata Pratilomata is leading to hypertension, Vata Anilomata will relieve the hypertension. I am repeating, Vata Pratilomata is the cause for hypertension. And Vata Anilomada will minimize the hypertension. So we prescribe Deshamula Haridagi internally. We prescribe Haridagi Churnam alone internally. In, uh, we prescribe Dendi Haridagi. Then you may ask me what is Anilomana and Pradiloma. Anilomana is nothing other than the programmed pre-decided movement of Vata in any anatomical sources. It is my own definition. Don't write in any examination. Only write in your Manovaha Srodas. The programmed predefined movement of vata in any anatomical location is called anilomada. Normal prana vata anilomada is my higher mental function. Normal udana vata anilomada is my speech deglutition. Normal vyana vata anilomada is my cardiac cycle. Normal samana vata anilomada is my peristaltic movement. Normal apana vata anilomada is sukla, artava, shagar, mutra, garba, nishkramana kriya, mixturation, divication, ejaculation, menstruation, parturition. So are you getting me? 
So pre-decided programmed movement of Vada. If there is Anilomada between me and you, you will listen. If there is Pradilomada, I will be talking, you will be sleeping. Am I right? So Anilomada is a programmed movement. When it is obstructed, we call it as Pradilomada. Pradiloma Vada will be leading to hypertension. So make the Vada Anilomada, the best Anilomada drug available is Hari Ragi. That is why in all Anilomana Chikilsa, Hari Ragi is an important factor. Terminalia Chebula. Tritwa Pagam Malanam Yet, Hitwa Bendamado Nayet. Tacha anilomanam nyayam eva prokta haridagi. So what I am telling, in Pramega Chikilsa, haridagi churman is very much important if there is kapanu bandham. If there is kapanu bandham and kapanu bandham is leading to a vada pradilomada, haridagi is having very important point. That is why apaya churnam is widely given in Pramega Roga if there is kapanu bandham. Why? Apaya churnam and haridagi. Haridagi james tamsta and yadims cha kapavada jan. Wherever there is a kapha obstructing vada, definitely hari ragi. My dear friends, listen me, listen carefully. If there is kapha and vada together, there are two clinical possibilities. I am telling you, if there is kapha vada together, there are two clinical possibilities. Kapha will obstruct vada, then there will be a vimarga gamana, that is one possibility. If kapha vadas are equal, they will work as a samsarga. Are you getting me? Kapha Vada, both are equal in Nidana Samrapi, they will be a Samsarga. Both will be there. But if Kapha is dominant, then Kapha will damage the Vada by obstruction. All the metabolic inhibition pathologies are Kapha or the Vada, definitely Haridagi is the answer. When Kapha is obstructing the Vada, I will tell you, hypothyroidism. What is hypothyroidism? In hypothyroidism, you very well know the mandaguna in the thyroid follicles leads to less secretion of T3, T4. Are you getting me? In hypothyroidism, less T3, less T4 and it is mandaguna at the thyroid secreting follicles of the thyroid. And when you are giving shodhana by tishna guna, definitely you can see the edema, the uh, obesity, etc. which is associated with the hypothyroidism can be cleared. So my point is, Mandaguna of Kapha is very much important in endocrinology, especially diabetes. Mandaguna will inhibit. If somebody will ask you what is Mandaguna in Ayurveda, clinically, I will be telling you Mandaguna is inhibition, Mandaguna is suppression, Mandaguna is obstruction, Mandaguna is congestion, Mandaguna is cooling, pooling, retardation, delay. If the nerve across the nerve, the impulses are carrying very slowly, mandagunam. If the blood is flowing slowly through the artery, mandagunam. If the thyroid grandi is supporting, secreting the hormones very slowly, mandagunam. So mandaguna will delay, tishnaguna will trigger. So whenever there is mandaguna combined with guru and snigda, you are getting all the problems of diabetes. So periodically do shodhana. Abhaya churnam, kabhani bandham, trivar churnam, pittani bandham, erandadela preparations, vadani bandham, that is the common mandatory protocol for periodical, episodical vilejana in Prameha. In my experience, I will tell you, it is clearly mentioned that duru vilejchi ohi mehina. Prameha yogis are mentioned as duru vilejchi. Why? The coast of the Prameha yogi will be generally dry. Why? Because Seda Madhi Yoga, Mutra Madhi Yoga, the water content will be minimum, so definitely do. Periodical sodhana, that is internal purification. Internal and external medicines, Ashtada, especially Uddhartanam, Danyamuladharam, etc. are very much important. So in my case, when I am suspecting obesity, in a 17-year-old, 18-year-old, uh, the PCOD woman, PCOD child, definitely I will do Vamana Karma. Mandatorily we will be doing Vamana Karma because Vamana Karma means Chetanam. It is clearly mentioned in the Charaka Samhita Kalpasthanam first chapter Madana Kalpam Sarveshidu Vamaneshu Madhu Saindavam Kapha Vilayana Chedanartam Ubadishyade In every Vamana Karma add Madhu plus Saindava to remove the Kapha Vilayana Chedanam Removing the Kapha Vilayana Chedanam is removing the insulin resistance because Kapha means Mandam and Kapha means Shidam Kava means Nikta, Kava means Guru, anything which is Guru, Shida, Nikta, Manda and Stira will always delay only. So that is why I am telling, whenever there is Kapaja Prameka, whenever there is uh, Manda Guna in Prameka, it will be creating 
all the thing uh, uh, so you can do the uh, vamana karma then uh, rejuvenation rasayana there are two rasayanas major rasayanas in prameha from my experience one is the tripala rasayanam second is the silajadu rasayanam tripala rasayanam will remove the kleda and silajadu rasayanam will remove the obstruction so insulin sensitivity insulin productivity both are uh, both are uh, contributed by these two rasayana then diet ahara very important you should not prescribe any abhishyandi ahara in prameha what do you mean by abhishyandi i will tell in a single word the abhishyandi ahara will be leading to the coagulation indra arterial coagulation what is that paichilyad gavarava dravyam rudva rasavaha sira datte yad gavaravam tasya abhishyandi yathadadi any diet which will occlude the rasavaha srodas which will promote the indra arterial coagulation thrombosis embolism etc comes under abhishyandi and what is opposite pramadi so my suggestion is always advise your patient to take pramadi type of diet what is pramadi type of diet pramadi type of diet will never allow any coagulation nija veerena yadrebhyam srodebhyo dosha sanjayam nirasya di pramadi sya tadyada marijam vaja marijam vaja chitraga etc are the pramadi drugs they will never allow indra arterial coagulation so point is very simple abhishyandi will make a block pramadi will clear the block abhishyandi can be coagulant and pramadi can be anti coagulant so pramadi drugs will be tishna ushna so i generally prescribe shaddarana churna there is a yoga called shaddarana churna in vada vyadi ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಚಿತ್ರಗ ಇಂದ್ರೇವ ಬಾಡ ಕಡಗ ಅದಿವಿಶಾಪಯ ಬಾದ ವ್ಯಾಧಿ ಪ್ರಶಮನೋ ಯೋಗೋ ಶರ್ದರ್ನೋ ಸ್ಮೃದ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಶರ್ದರ್ನ ಚೂರ್ಣ 5 ಗ್ರಾಂ ವಿತ್ ಎನಿ ಡಯಾಬೆಟಿಕ್ ಡ್ರಗ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಕಬಜ ಪ್ರಮೇಹ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಎನ್ ಅಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪ್ಯಾಥೋಲಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಡಯಾಬೆಟಿಸ್ ಆಡ್ 5 ಗ್ರಾಂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶರ್ದರ್ನ ಚೂರ್ಣ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ಡಯಾಬೆಟಿಕ್ ಡ್ರಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಶರ್ದರ್ನ ಚೂರ್ಣ ವಿಲ್ ನೆವರ್ ಕಾಸ್ abhishyandi so srodasas will be always kept in normal otherwise you can prescribe 3 grams of chitraga churna any divana padana drug is mandatory with classical anti diabetic drugs if it is a kapaja srodorodha related prameha is it clear very important point i am telling if you are treating a kapa pramehi with obstructive pathology srodorodha pathology add divana padana churna like shardarna churna chitraga churna etc as a common drug along with anti diabetic see in treatment some drugs are vyadi pratyaga they will directly fight against the disease some drugs are dosha pratyaga the real treatment is the combination of both dosha pratyaga dadu pratyaga when combined together you will be getting the result and exercise already we have discussed okay then this is what i am telling vamana karma mscs in kapha domination pc body sandarpana pramehi and the vedana purgation vascular stages of paitika prameha and the astavana meditation in vadiga stage especially udavartam in chronic vadiga prameha there is a condition called paralyticus ileus the ileum will be undergoing paralysis and there will be always gastric distension we call it as udavartam and udavarta can be treated by vasti karma in vadiga prameha my dear friends vadiga prameha the number one upadrava is vadigana udavarta kanda krudgraha lolata udavarta means the problem where the normal movement of the vada in the costa is arrested so think about vasti any vasti namely the erenda mula the vasti vaishwanira vasti vaidarana vasti any vasti which can remove the block can be given then alternate option from here i am telling you the reverse points administration of powder of haridagi administration of powder of tripala can be given if there is more rakta dushti more pitta dushti tripala more kapha dushti apaya churna that is mandatory for virajana the dose can be 15 gram the anubana can be hot water for haridagi and prabhurta for the avibhuti churna honey then external complications in different diseases of diabetes mellitus uddwartana massage with powder takra dara head shower with medicated buttermilk shira dara shower with medicated milk oil massage see very important point is there very important when you do uddartana you are creating kava shamana when there is sutti nambina etc do uddartana when there is takra dara again kava shamana with more stress when there is 
ശീരധാര വിത്ത ശമനം ജനറലി വി ഡു ശീരധാര വിത്ത് കാരസ്കരത്വക് ശീരധാര യു നോ കാരസ്കരത്വക് കുബീലു the bark of the kubilu is taken and converted into kshiradara paithika prameham we are doing especially with the more anxiety disorder even shiri vusatva you know shiri vusatva are the ficus plants okay and the bark is taken and we are doing and finally oil massage is done when there is vadika so this slide is very popular kavashamanam uddartanam kavashamanam urdhangam takradara pitta shamanam kshiradara vada shamanam oil or abhyanga so that is the normal that is the normal methodology of external treatments and uh, internal medicines different uh, formulations in different uh, clinical conditions of diabetes based on the degree and uh, duration of hyperglycemia that is important never prescribe an anti diabetic internal drug only based on the hyperglycemia value but consider the duration consider the strength of the vidana consider the dosha like that now i am giving you a list of drugs നിശാഗതകാദി കഷായം കഥകഗതരാദി കഷായം ആൻഡ് ആകുല്യാദി കഷായം ആരക്കുദാദി കഷായം ആൾ ദ ഫോർ ആർ ഗിവൺ ഇൻ കപാഡോമിനന്റ് പ്രമേഹാവസ്ഥ സി ദീസ് ഡ്രഗ്സ് ആർ വൈഡലി കളക്ടഡ് ഫ്രം സർവേ ബൈ കോമൺ ഡോക്ടേഴ്സ് ഹു ആർ പ്രാക്ടീസിംഗ് സോ ദി കളക്ടഡ് ദർ ഒപ്പീനിയൻ ആൻഡ് ദേ വാട്ട് ബി കൺക്ലൂഡഡ് ഈസ് നിശാഗതകാദി കഥകഗ ആൾ ആർ അവൈലബിൾ കഥകഗതരാദി ആകുല്യാദി ആരക്കുദാദി ഇൻ കപാഡോമിനേഷൻ ഗുഡൂച്ചാദി തിക്തകം നിമ്പാദി മഹാതിക്തകം പിത്തപ്രധാനം ധന്വന്തരം ഗുഗുല തിക്തകം വാദാധികം ബിസ്വാസ്തി കോമൺലി യൂസ്ഡ് ആൻഡ് ഡയബറ്റിക് ഡ്രഗ്സ് ഇൻ മൈ പ്ലേസ് കളക്ടഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദ സർവേ ഫ്രം ദി മെഡിക്കൽ ഓഫീസേഴ്സ് ഫോർ ദി പ്രാക്ടീസ് ട്രീറ്റിംഗ് ഡയബറ്റിക്സ് യു കാൻ സി നിശാഗതകാദി പോപ്പുലർ മലയാളം യോഗ ഐ വിൽ ടെലി ദ ഇൻഗ്രീഡിയൻ നിശ നിശ യു വരുവല്ലോ ഹൽദി നിശ കഥക ആമലഗി ആൻഡ് പാരന്തി ഭദ്രിക Ega na ega. These are the drug and these drugs are having a property to remove the cleda. And we have seen when you give Nishagadagadi continuously to the patient, we can see even the Karabaradaha is getting decreased. I have a combination Nishagadagadi plus Guduchyadi I am giving together. Nishagadagadi morning, Guduchyadi evening, excellent combination against Karabaradaha with Pramega. Why? ഗുരുജിയാദി വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഗുരുജിയാദി ഗുരുജി പത്മക അരിഷ്ട ധാന്യാഗ രക്തചന്ദനം പിത്ത ശ്ലേഷ്മ വർണ്ണചർദി ദാഹ തൃഷ്ണാഘ്നം അഗ്നികൃത് നോ ഗുരുജി ഇസ് ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് ഡ്രഗ് അഗൈൻസ്റ്റ് വാദരക്ത ഗുരുജി ഇസ് ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് ഡ്രഗ് അഗൈൻസ്റ്റ് രക്താവർണവാദം ഗുരുജി ഇസ് ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് ഡ്രഗ് അഗൈൻസ്റ്റ് മൈക്രോ മാക്രോ ആൻജിയോപ്പതി ആൻഡ് ഗുരുജി ഇസ് ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് ഡ്രഗ് ഇൻ ആർട്ടോ ഇമ്യൂൺ കണ്ടീഷൻ So when you combine Guduchyadi with Nishagadagadi, when we have a Pratanika drug with a classical Ayurveda drug, you are combining and you are getting the result in both ways. Then Kadalgadiradi Sayyam, Agulyabdadi, Arakodadi, Khava Pramega Samanam, Obstructive Pramegam, Srodorodha Pramegam, Obese Pramegam, Adisveda Pramegam, Shaidilya Pramegam, etc. Think about Arakodadi. and giving aragodadi in a kapha dominant case will prevent the recurrence of diabetic pedangles or prameka pedala then tiktagam and nimbadi in my opinion in my opinion please pay attention tiktagam is the multi dimensional yoga in ayurveda where pitta dosham and medas together come listen carefully pitta dosham and medas together come in any scenario in any srodas the answer is Tikta Gashayam. Why? It is mentioned in Kushtati Gils. I will tell you the indication. I am not telling, I am taking from the Vagbada. Tikta Kushta Parisarpa Pidaga Dahadr Brahman Kandu Panduamayan Gandhan Dushta Nali Varna Apaji Bhagandaram Abasmara Udaram Pradaram Gera Asho Asavitta Manyamscha Sugitsran Tikta Jan Gadar. See? He is telling the dermatological pathology, internal pathology, lipid pathology, liver pathology, even unmada level of manasika pathology, vitta vitta, you prescribe pitta gashaya. Why? Pitta gashaya drugs are having medo shoshanam, pitta samanam, rekta prasadanam, agni dhebanam. Four in one. Are you getting me? It is very difficult only, you know. Four in one. Two in one may be getting. If you purchase one seat, you will be getting another one free. Three in may, may be there, but you are getting four in one. Pitta Samanam, Pitta Rasam, Medo Shoshanam, Pitta Rasam, 
ரத்தப்பிரசாதனம் சித்தரசம் அண்ட் அக்னி தீபனம் சித்தரசம் சோ ஆர் த போர் ஆர் டுகெதர் கெட்டிங் தட் இஸ் வை தட் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் நிம்பாதி சேம் வே எனி டெர்மடோலஜிக்கல் கண்டிஷன் எனி இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் இன் செல்லுலைட்டிஸ் இன் சர்ட்டன் டயபெட்டிக் பேஷன்ஸ் will be developing cellulitis with a reddish discoloration and high grade fever we can prescribe nimbadi kashayam mahadikta kashayam and the last two dhanvandaram gugulitakam generally vadiga generally in vadiga grudagalpanas are best but to start the treatment you can think about kashaya then please think about dhanvandaram and gugulitakam and what is the methodology of administration 15 ml of concentrated decoction with 45 ml boiled and cooled water twice daily before food is the normal methodology of administration then medicated powder i am telling different kalpana i am telling different indian kalpana gugguli this is a famous yoga very famous yoga 5 grams of gugguli panchavala churnam 5 gram of yogaraja churnam and 5 gram of tribala churnam together 50 gram with uh, water or suitable medium that is a very good combination especially when you doubt any internal inflammation with the diabetic complication combination of gugguli panchavala churnam yogaraja churnam mentioned in pandu chikitsa and tripala churnam 5 plus 5 plus 5 total 15 gram can be given with suitable uh, medium preferably you can uh, prescribe with the hot water then tripala churnam navayasa churnam amrutadi churnam or other medicines available for uh, diabetic care then tablets chandra prabha guliga shiva guliga nijaru niruriyadi guliga navayasa gugguli navayasa gugguli is very important especially in meda ama conditions if there is obesity if there is other condition definitely chandra prabha guliga shiva guliga niruriyadi guliga navayasa guliga etc can be given and practically aristas are not prescribed must because we very well know aristas are madhur etc etc but i have an experience excessive sedam low dose of is good excessive sedam in days of diabetic patient they will be having more uh, seda will be there more sweating will be there then this uh, low dose of the low dose of is mentioned in prameka chikitsa that is good ayaskriti which contains sara good chari bhagya asava pitta shamana devadar varishtam again neurological stimulants so these are the extra kalpana generally not much given but if in emergency condition you can prescribe when i am getting diabetic skin diseases especially eczema will be more serious in diabetes condition peripheral vascular disease and fungal infection will be more in uh, diabetic cases in fungal infection then i will be combining the shari bhagya asava and arugudarishtam in fungal infection with gandaka rasayanam etc that is good chandra prabha guliga is a general drug which is indicated for kleda shoshana and srodo shuddhi in prameka now coming to the medicated ghee or oil i told you dhanandaram grudam that is the best grudha for neuropathy and amyotrophy in diabetes gugguli nikkala grudam already told kalyanaga grudam that is best kalyanaga grudam is a grudha yoga which can be given in chronic cases of diabetes in aged people who don't have sleep in vadiga prameha nidra nasha will be there unnidrada in such condition kalyanaga grudha is there geriatric cases geravyadi etc kalyana grudha can be given in vadiga prameha because of nourishment and other issue maha kalyana grudha again supporting that trigandaka grudha that is generally given in vadiga conditions of renal uh, complication trigandaka grudha nishoshira adi tailam arugala adi tailam are only for external application they are taila only then herbo mineral we uh, practice some important herbo mineral abraga basmam vanga basmam vasanta kusumaraga rasam and shilajitu basmam these are the medicines which can be given along with other classical drugs depending upon the condition and lavia preparations generally not much given but in emergency conditions especially chronic condition especially diabetic nephropathy when there is creatinine level is increased or when there is serum creatinine is above 2 plus something Vishamulya Haridagi can be given in Churna Ho. You need not make the Lehi Kalpana. The same yogas can be given in other way. Madhusnagi Rasayana and Mani Badra Gula. Mani Badra Gula is also important. Mani Badra Gula is mentioned in Kushta Jigilsa. My dear friends, most of the yogas mentioned in Kushta Jigilsa, Sofa Jigilsa are applicable in Prameka. If keep an eye, most of the drugs mentioned in Kushta Jigilsa and Sofa Jigilsa are applicable in Prameka and Mani Badra Gulam is mentioned in Kushta Jigilsa. It is Vidanga Sara is there. In Mani Badra Gulam, Vidanga Sara Amalaga Apayana, Palam Palam Trini Palani Gumbha, Udasya Dolasya Masamesha, 
ജിതാത്മനാഹം ദുപയുജ്യമാന വിടങ്കസാരം അഭയം ആമലകി എവരുത് ഈ സ്ഥേർ സോ മാണിപുത്ര കുളം വിൽ ബി കാസിൻ അൽപ അൽപ മനസോദന റാദർ ദൻ ക്രിയേറ്റിംഗ് എ വെരി ഗുഡ് ശോദന അൽപ അൽപ മനസോദന ഇൻ ദുർബല പ്രകൃതി യു തിങ്ക് അബൌട്ട് മാണിപുത്ര കുളം 10 15 ഗ്രാം ആൻഡ് ബെട്ടയും ഡിപെൻഡിംഗ് അപ്പോൺ ദി കോസ്റ്റ ആ കണ്ടീഷൻ ദൻ കമ്മിംഗ് ടു ദി ഡയറ്റ് ഫൈബർ റിച്ച് ഫുഡ്സ് ആർ റെക്കമെൻഡഡ് ഫൈബർ റിച്ച് ഡയറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി മച്ച് ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് selected fruits and vegetables cooked dried beans and peas all grain breads and cereals brown rice and bran products are important it is always better to have a fiber rich diet because the presence of fiber is very much important in reducing the uh, glucose so that is very much important according to my concept you can convert the diet into drug convert the diet into drug in my practice in freshly diagnosed case i will always tell them to take panchagola evagu You know, panja gola, pippali, pippali mola, chavya, chitra la nagara, very simple drug. So, panja gola churna should be prepared with the yavagu. It is better to take yava or it is better to take even goduma and that is better because when you combine a divana, pajana, agini divana churna with the kleda gara, anna vikara, the kleda can be minimized. Kevala yavagu and panja gola yavagu, panja gola yavagu will not be having that type of glycemic index are you getting me so the glycemic index of a particular diet which we regularly take can be minimized by empowering with a powder or empowering with a so convert ahara into aushada that is the unique concept of ayurveda convert ahara into aushada same way when there is emaciation when there is protein reduction when there is the muscle bulk is coming down we prescribe panchagola churna in mudga yusha you know mudga yusha means the vegetable proteins are there and we can prescribe ajamamsa rasayana with panchagola churna so ajamamsa mamsa rasa with panchagola churna yusha with panchagola churna yavagu with panchagola churna are very much important as converting the diet into drug so ahara is converted into aushada and then the glycemic index can be prevented and the required nourishment supply will be available and the target delivery will occur when you prescribe mamsa rasam with panchagolam mudga rasam with panchagolam panchagola will take the mamsa rasa to the target so the srodo shuddhi will be da- always done by this drug so that is very much important so we are giving different types of medicated yavagus for controlling the diabetes there are so many classical yogas are there how many yogas you can search in our textbook convert the yavagu into a medicated yavagu and one time the patient should take that only then definitely we can see the glycemic index will be minimum which can show long term reduction in hdb1c that is why the diet kalpanas are very much important daily you can control the eps and ppbs but the long term hdb1c control can be achieved only by proper diet then coming to the exercise everybody you know brisk walking 4 to 5 km per hour swimming cycling aerobics exercises etc walk 3 km in a level actually what they recommend is 150 minutes of exercise per week minimum if you can do 30 minutes of walking for 5 days enough 150 minutes of moderate exercise is very much important because recent studies are telling that whenever you are doing the exercise the muscles will be taking more of glucose and so the costa will not be having that much of increase of this and this is the excellent example of vyayama affecting the kosta gadi and the shaka gadi so when there is more uh, uh, glucose or when there is more glucose or anything like that if you do exercise the shaga shaga rakta ve stakta they will take it so the link between kosta shaga and how vyayama affect can be very well proven by diabetes and the control by exercise then swim for 30 minutes at an average speed cycle in level ground at 8 km so many exercises are there you can practice then yoga day after tomorrow everybody will be doing yoga <laughs> those who are never doing yoga will be doing day after tomorrow yoga okay so we can see reduces the stress threshold yo actually yoga ha chitta vritti nirodha am i right yes. yoga ha chitta vritti nirodha it will defend actually i am telling you know what is prajna varada in diabetes do you know what is prajna varada yes. i am telling something which is not that much discussed in pramega what is prajna varada actually Now, what is the meaning? I am anyway, very happy that you are telling the slogan. So let us just together tell. Ah, the this Guru Vibhram Shah Karma Yat Kudre Ashubham Pratyabharadam Tamvidyal 
Sarva dosha pragobana means both sharirika dosha, manasika dosha can be vitiated by pranyavarada. What is the classical example? The classical simple example, no example mentioned, textbooks, how many examples are there? Textbook, what is mentioned? Your teacher is coming, you are not telling namaste, pranyavarada. Then nowadays everybody is doing pranyavarada only. What is the current classical pranyavarada? Cigarette smoking is injurious to health. It is written where? Uh, you got it, you got it. This, uh, this, it is written in the cigarette pack. We purchase it, read it, oh, very good. He writes it. This is Pratnyavarana. Cigarette smoking is injurious to health, is written in the cigarette packet and we use it. Same way, Pratnyavarana is there for the diabetic patient. How? They very well know that they should not take Leddu. They very well know that they should not take Peda, but they will take Peda Leddu. That is called the Pratnyavarana. And that is called Jihua Laulya. So Indriya, Mana, Atma, Sannikasham is there. And when you practice yoga, what is happening? What is happening? When you practice yoga, what is happening? Your manas from Tamoguna may go to Rajoguna. I don't know, I am telling may. Go to Rajoguna. May go to Rajoguna. If you regularly practice, that is what I am telling. And from Rajoguna to Sattaguna, then what is he? The Tamoguna person on led to is given to a diabetic Tamoguna. What he will do? On led to is given to a Tamoguna diabetic person. What he will do? Huh? Then the best answer will be provided with the led to. Huh? He will demand another led to also. He himself very well know I am diabetic. He should not take Tamoguna. He will take one more led to Tamoguna. What about Rajoguna? Definitely he will take half led to and he will give half led to somebody else. You also get that, you also get diabetic. <laughs> really? And only Sattaguna led to Kanake Chodnake. Kanake Chodnake. At the end of the day, Sattaguna wins the battle, led to Kleda Vartake, led to Avishendhe, Uche led to Manake. That is Sattaguna. So this is what is achieved by yoga. I am not telling that by Ujangasana, Mayurasana, Ayats of Langar hands will be stimulated. I don't know, maybe stimulated. But your mental control will be there. That is why Yoga, Chitta, Vritti. Ah, it is patently told like that. Yoga, Chitta, Vritti, Nidodaha. So definitely the asanas may be having certain control over the internal organ. But same way the Shat Chakras will be having role. But the ultimately the Atma, Mana, Indriya, Sharira. That is very much important. Body, mind, soul we are telling. So your mind will be controlled by the Atma, then you will not be telling that I am having diabetes, I am having Pramega, so I should not take much Leddu. Much is inverted coma, much Leddu. Sometimes only Leddu can be taken because Yoga has Chitta Prati Nirodha. So what I am telling, in Pramega only the maximum Pratnyavarada is occurring in our country. That is why irrespective of having so many Yoga days and diabetic days, Pramega is increasing. Am I right? How many yoga days we celebrated? How many Prameha days we celebrated? Prameha days we are celebrating with the Leddu only. <laughs> so that is why until and unless there is no Chitta Vritti Nirodaham, the Vyayama is relevant. So yoga reduces the stress threshold. Actually I will tell you, you know, actually every human being is undergoing a transformation in his life. The quantity of transformation depends upon his individuality. I am having Tamo Guna, I am having Rijo Guna. What is happening? If I am able to convert my 10% of Tamo Guna to Rijo Guna, 10% Rijo Guna will go to Sattva Guna. That is what is called Tamasoma. Ah, that is what is called Tamasoma Jodhir Gamaya. You are gradually undergoing a change in your Manasiga Bhava. I used to tell, you know, there are 16 Manasiga Pragrdis mentioned in Ayurveda. You know? In Ayurveda, Sharida Pragrdis Vada Vitta Kava we know. But in Ayurveda, Manasa Pragrdis are mentioned 16 times, 1, 6. 7, Sathika Pragrdi, you know, Brahma, Kubera, Ashra. Have you heard about it? Yes. You have heard about it. 7 Pragrdi, all the royal Pragrdi. Brahma, Kubera, etc. Then next is 6 is uh, Rajasa Pragrdi, Kishaja, Prayada, Shavuni, Yaksha, etc. And then finally 3, Tamasa, Pashu. Malsyam, somebody was telling, Pashu, Malsyam, Manaspadi, what is Pashu, animal, we are equal to animal only, Tamo Guna, what is Malsya, we cannot catch Malsya, no, so certain Pragradis are there, we can never understand, 
Certain people, it is very difficult to understand what are really, you know, that is called the Masya Prakriti. And uh, Vanaspati means they will be always stable, no change in their attitude. You know, trees cannot walk, you know. Vanaspati means trees. Can trees walk? Trees will be permanently here only. So my attitude will never change. Whatever you tell, whatever satsang I am doing, whatever puja I am doing, I will be the same old Gobaguma. That is the Vanaspati. So I am telling you, Pashu, animal, Masya, that is fluctuating, which is not capable of giving an idea, and the Vanaspati, not at all changing, all the three belongs to Tamoguna Manasa Pragadi. So by yoga, if you are able to change 10% of one lower component to the next level, you are transforming, that is what is the meaning of Tamasoma, Jodhur Gamaya. That is why Ayurveda told a beautiful sentence in Ayurveda, Nityam Idahara Vihara Sevi. Samishyadari Vishyeshu Asaktaha Dada Samas Satyavara Chamavan Aktoba Sevija Bhavadi Ayogaha He will not be getting any disease provided he is able to undergo the transformation from Tamoguna to Rajoguna to Sattaguna and Yoga help you. Yoga help in this aspect that is the most important component of Yoga because it is Chittavurti Nirodaha Controls the effect of counteracting hormones very important glucagon thyroid hormone and insulin all the counteracting hormone the shakarmas and yogasanas can definitely control them and healthy vessels are never I told you know diabetes mellitus is always due to the complication of vessels nowadays nobody tell diabetes is the disease of blood vessels I'm sorry pancreas diabetes is the disease of blood vessels so that is also there and these are the common yogas we suggested in our place pujangasana Paschimottasana, Omugasana, Artha Malsendriyasana. These are the common yogasanas which we teach to public who are having diabetic. In our place, in our hospitals, special diabetic clinics are there. Then Surya Namaskara, an excellent remedy. Everybody know. Medo Chayam and Vibhatta Khanagatrottam is very much attainable. Patmasana, Mayurasana, Vajrasana and they finally Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. These are the common treatments which we are delivering to the patients and combined with the yoga, combined with the Vyayama, combined with the stress control and diet, you are getting a holistic treatment in Prameha. That is the beauty of Ayurveda. Okay? Then foods contraindicated, very important. I think all these drugs are, all these foods we are regularly take. Whatever is contraindicated only we are taking. Sugar, jaggery, alcohol, smoking, curd, bottled drinks, Grapes, support, uh, flesh of aquatic and domestic animals, jackfruit, mango, tender coconut water, tender coconut, badam, pista, cash. I think all these royal drugs are everybody consumes. In our place, Kerala, every time, April, May, months, most of the people will be having high level of glucose. You know why? Jackfruit and mango. Everywhere, mango and jackfruit are having high glycemic index. You know, right when the mango you take, it will suddenly shoot your glucose level. So all these things are coming under Kapakara, Sodhu, Pichila, Slaishmiga, Abhishadhyaya. Sodhu, Sodhu, Ammala, Levana, Stig, the Guru, Pichila, Seedala mentioned in the textbook is nothing other than this. So try to avoid these food. Rasayana, already I discussed the Shilajit Rasayana, Sensitizer and Tripada Rasayana, Secret Tobogu. Very important. See, you can see the entire Ayurvedic story of Prameha here. Shilajit Rasayana means sensitizer means which will make the insulin readily available to the uh, cells. That is sensitivity will be empowered by Shilajit and Tripala Rasayana Secreto Gog. They will stimulate the uh, Langer fans or beta cells to produce more uh, insulin. So two level of action is there for the uh, Rasayana Secreto Gog action is by Tripala. It will enable to secrete more secretion of insulin. And the sensitizer, the insulin will become more competent to act upon the uh, glucose and it is converted into glycogen. Okay, so what I am telling, both the type of rasayanas are there. In my place, we will do Shilajad Churnam in different Kashaya. If there is an abscess, we will be giving Shilajad Churnam with the Pudarnavadi Kashaya. If there is a skin disease, we will be giving Shilajad Churnam with the Pitta Kashaya. If there is a Kostagata pathology, Shilavari Jurnam with the Padolari Kashaya. So the same drug with the different Vyadi, Pratini, Anubana, you can prescribe Shilajit. That is very important. Then management of diabetic complications. There are so many complications in diabetes. You can see the picture. 
you can see this is the picture, the very big the yellow, that is cardiovascular. The maximum complication of diabetes is cardiovascular, the yellow you can see, then the blue renal disease, then a narrow area of ophthalmic disease, then neurological disease, pink color, and the peripheral vascular disease, red color, and the other small. So diabetic nephropathy, diabetic neuropathy, diabetic periartic peri Peral vessels, diabetic uh, coronary artery disease, diabetic CVA, even diabetic dermopathy, autoimmune disease, erectile dysfunction. Vaji Garna Chikilsa is very much given in erectile dysfunction. There is a wonderful yoga which we are giving. Soyan Gupta, Ichidagayo, Bija Churnam Samachiga, Atna Gupta, that is the Kabigachu plus Kogi Daksha. Both of these drugs should be powdered and given internally with the ghee that is very good indicated in erectile dysfunction because there are so many autonomical neuropolis. So, Yam Gupta, Ichidagayo, Bija Churnam Samachiga, references Ashtanga Vayam Vaji Garna Pragarana, Kabigachu Churnam plus Kogilaksham. Kogilaksham is a very good drug acting at vascular level. Most of the clientele, most of the importance here are vascular issues only, and we can see all these complications are there and they will be following the diabetes depending upon the chronicity and the level of Prameha and Clara. Diabetic neuropathy, line of treatment, medicated enema, Erenda Muladi, uh, must be widely practiced, external treatments, powder massage, that is Uddhartanam, oil massage, Abhyangam. So start with the Uddhartanam, end with the Abhyangam, that is good. Because in Uddhartanam, Kapha Dosha will be there first, then only go to the Vada stage Abhyanga, and if do the Abhyanga, Masha Thailam is important. Masha Thailam because especially Thailam Sanguchide Abhyenge Masha Sahindava Sabidam. When the calf muscles are getting cramps, diabetic patients night time cramps are told by many patients. Night time cramps. And then it is better to prescribe Masha Thailam with the Sahindava Sabidam. You know Sahindava should be dissolved in the Masha Thailam, heated it and applied externally. That is Thailam Sanguchide Abhyenge Masha Thailam. And prevention of Imardhanam Thailam, that is a very good Thailam indicated in Supti, that is diabetic neuropathy. And another important is Karpas Asthadi Thailam, periarthritis shoulder. You know, diabetic patients are having very easy chances of getting periarthritis shoulder. They cannot raise the shoulder, we call it as painful arc syndrome, PAS. They may not be able to uh, bring the hand backside and pain will be here, periarthritis shoulder. Karpasasthadi Thailam and Nasyam is mandatory. Abha Bhakwe, Idam Nasyam, Snega Suttara Bhaktigam. So Nasya Karma is mandatory. We will be doing Nasya Karma with the Chida Bala Thailam, 21 Avarti, or even you can do uh, Dhanandara Thailam, 21 Avarti. But any shoulder pathology, Nasyam is mandatory. I am telling you the benefit of Nasya Karma. Kanavannada Prasannakta Skanda Grimasya Vashtasaha, Dridendriyasthu Avalido Bhavayur Nasya Sirina. Shoulder, Chest, Viva, cervical spine, shoulder, anterior chest, any disease, Nasya is important. That is why in periarthritis shoulder, Ababahugam, Nasya is important. Internal medicines, different types of decoctions, powder. There is one yoga called Bhunimbadi Kashayam. Bhunimbadi Kashayam references Ashtangraviyam Kushta Chagilsa that is comparatively having good results in diabetic neuropathy. If you read the Bhunimbadi Kashayam, it is mentioned like this. Kushta Mekha Prasuttina Paramsyad Varavushadam. It is indicated in Kushta. You know in Kushta also peripheral nerve damage is there. See the link. In Ayurveda they told Bhunimbadi Kashayam in Kushta Jigilsa but they added Prameha also. Kushta Mekha Prasuttina Paramsyad Varavushadam. Bhunimbadi Kashayam very good yoga in uh, diabetic neuropathy. And Ashtavardhan Kashayam. You know Ashtavardhan Kashayam? A very popular Kashayam Ashtavardhan. It contains only eight drugs, Bela, Sagadara, Eranda, Sundi, Rasna, Suryadruma, Sasinduvara, Lesunei, Rashta, Vargu, Anilabha. I, I, I wish that everybody should learn this yoga. My dear friends, listen carefully. Any pathology where Kapha is obstructing Vada, Ashtavargam is the solution. I am telling you, Kapha is obstructing the Vada, Ashtavargam is the solution. Let us learn the slogan. Are you ready? Only two lines sloga. I should feel that one sloga you should study before you leave the hall. Then only the doors will be open. Okay, see very simple. Bella, you know, Bella, you follow me carefully with your mind. Bella, Sakajara, Eranda, three over now. Bella, Sakajara, Eranda, Shundi, Rasna, Suryadruma. Suryadruma means Devadari. Bella, 
Sakadara, relax, relax. I will make you learn. Bella, Sakadara, Eranda, Sundi, Rasna, Sudadrumai. Next line. So, Sindhu Varam, that is Nirgundi. Sindhu Varam, last drug is Lesuna. So, Sindhu Varam, Lesuna, Ashtavargo, Anilavaha. Eight drugs, the combination is called Ashtavarga, Anilavaha. Which Anilavaha? Kapanu Ganda, Anilavaha. Okay, ready? Now, come with me. Bella, it starts with the Bella. Okay. That is important. Otherwise, you might know eight drugs. What is the first drug? You think Ashtavarga is paid for Bella like that, you imagine? Bella Sakadara Eranda. Sakadara means Strobiliandas. Bella Sakadara Eranda, Shundi Rasna Suradrumai, Sasindu Vara Lesunai, Ashtavargo Anidabaha. Ready? Okay, now you should be able to tell. Follow me carefully. Once again, I will tell. Follow me. Bella Sakadara Eranda, Shundi Rasna Suradrumai, Sasindu Vara Lesunai, Ashtavargo Anidabaha. Ashtavarga is never Pittavaha, Kamabaha. Ashtavarga will never become Kastavarga. Then the slogan will not change, you know. Less, second line, so Sinduvara Lesunai. Lesuna is the last drug. The best hour and a hara drug is Lesuna. That is why in hyperlipidemia, coronary artery disease, we are prescribing garlic. Garlic means the alizine containing garlic. Now the slogan is simple. I will tell, then you will be telling. After telling only, we will conclude the session. Bella, Sakadara, Eranda. Shundi, Rasna, Suradrumaihi, Sa Sindhu Vara Lesunai, Ashtavarku Anidama. Ashtavarku Anidama. Why? What is there? Nothing. Very simple. You never think that the slogans are very serious things. Actually, there is no... How you are learning the film songs? Recent film songs in Pushpa, how you are learning? KGF, you, how you are learning? Are you sitting in the textbook and learning? You know, I'm very happy, I'm very happy, I'm very happy. Yes, I mean. Never, never. Bella, Sakadara, visualize Bella. Bella, Sakadara, Eranda, Sundi, Jasna, Sujadrumaihi, Sa Sindhu Vara, Lesunai, Ashtavargo, Anidabaha. Please. Group song. One, two, three. Bella, Bella, Sakadara, Eranda, Sundi, Jasna, Sujadrumaihi, Bella, Sakadara, Eranda, Sundi, Jasna, Sujadrumaihi, Bella, Sakatara, Eranda, Sundi, Rasna, Sudhadrumaihi. Only two tracks. Sasindu Vara, Lesune, Rastavargo, Boom, Anidabaha. Over. Now tell everybody. Then only doors will be open. Bella, Sakatara, Eranda, Sundi, Rasna, Sudhadrumai, Sasindu Vara, Lesune, Rastavargo, Anidabaha. You know why I told you to learn this yoga? Any clinical condition where due to metabolic lifestyle factors, Kapha is inhibiting Vada, think about this. See, that is why I am not simply telling for a slogan to learn a slogan. I am conveying a universal conceptual application for the clinical practice. Any condition due to lifestyle, contemporary lifestyle, inactivity, stress, insulin resistance, obesity, Sandarpanotam, metabolic syndrome, Kapha is inhibiting Vada, think about why it contains Tishna plus Ushna dress? My dear friends, focus clearly. If there is Kevala Vadam, Ushna Vijam is Sinam. Am I right? Because Vadam is Sinam, Ushnam is opposite. But if there is Vadam and Kavam is there, what is the problem? Vadam is Sinam, Kavam is Sinam, but Kavam is Nidda Sinam. So Kavam is Manda Sinam. So you need a double power of Ushna to fight against a Kapavadam. Are you getting me? So Ushna Vijaya is not enough. You need Ushna plus? Very good. You need Ushna plus Tishna. Now you see Sagadara is Tishna. And Devadaru is Tishna. And Sindhuvaram is Tishna. And Lesinam is the Tishna Raja. Are you getting me? So that is the logic. So next time when you are getting Carpal Tunnel Syndrome, when you are getting hypothyroidism, when you are getting Uris Thambam, Amavadam, type 2 diabetes mellitus, fatty liver, hyperlipidemia, any condition where Kapha is inhibiting Vada, think about Ashtavargam. That is why today you go and type garlic. In coronary artery disease, you can see thousands of modern clinical studies about garlic and coronary artery disease. Garlic and hypertension, garlic and hyperlipidemia because garlic contains tishna, tishna is opposite to manda, manda belongs to kapha, kapha is nigda, nigda, kapha, guru, sida, which will be always inhibition. Answer is inhibition, solution is, solution is, 
Solution is? Solution is Bella, Sakadara, Yeranda, Sundi, Rafna, Sudadrumai. So, Hindu war, Lesuni, Ashtavar, go on. So, tomorrow, if you are getting a patient of any pool, you don't write Ashtavar gum. You write the Bella. We should be thinking what he is going to do. Till yesterday, she, doctor was normal. Sakadara. Eranda, Sundi, Rasna, Suradruma, Hinduvara, Lesuna. Eight drugs into six gram, forty-eight gram into ten glass of water, reduced into two glass, morning one glass, evening one glass. Power. Are you getting me? What is the benefit? You will think about creating such other formulations. Then you will think one part about any other yoga which with other three drugs. So naturally your pharmacological brain will enlarge. You will never copy anybody's medicine. You will think if these eight drugs are put against Kapha, Medo, Dushti, I will make another yoga. Madam, what is your name? Kirti. Kirti. I will make Navaga Kirti Kashaya. <laughs> Madam will add one more drug and she will convert into Navaga Kirti Kashaya. So that Ajaya Kirti Uvaja. Ajaya Kirti is telling. So like that, I am promoting your self-analysis. I am promoting your self Thinking so that any drug which you study, if you understand the pathology, you can create your own yoga. That is why I taught you. No, Bella, Swagadara, Eranda, Shundi, Rasna, Sudar Shurumai, Sa Sinduvara, Nishmai, Any difficulty is there? Yes or no? Those who are sleeping with the Rejoguna, open eyes. No. Bella, Sakadara, Eiranda, Sundi, Rasna, Siradruvai, so Sinduvar, Desunei, Rastava. I am telling you, it can be given in atherosclerosis, it can be given in carpal tunnel syndrome, it can be given in fatty liver, it can be given in hyperlipidemia, it can be given in Kapajadushti, it can be given in Uristamba, Amavada, any clinical condition where Kapha inhibit Vada Ashtavargam. Because Ashtavargam contains Ushna plus Tishna plus. Dear friends, Every drug is the product of a concept. Am I right? Every drug is the product of a concept. And when you know the concept, you are literally enjoying it. I am telling you now, I am talking for two and a half hours. Say, Bahubali movie is only two and a half hours, no? How many actors are there? We are singly acting. No, why? Because I am getting Anandam. How this Anandam is coming? There are Pancha Goshas are there, no? Prana Annamaya Gosham, Prana Maya Gosham, Anomaya Gosham. Jnana Maya Gosham, Ananda Maya Gosham. If you take a heavy dungeon with the chicken biryani or any other Mysore Pao, Bada Pao, how much time your Ananda will be there? One hour. It will be digested. No more Ananda. You are dreaming about Shadu Khan Kajal? One hour, one day, one night, no Kajal. Ananda won. But Vijnana is there. That Vijnana will be creating permanent and ultimate Ananda. That is why when you know, today you are leaving the classroom, Today you are leaving the classroom, you will be proudly tell, I know Ashtavargam. Bella, Pakadara, Eranda, Sundi, Rasna, Suradrumai, Sasinduvara, Deshuni, Anandam, that will never die. The Anandam by the chai you are going to take will be leaving after one hour. Ashtavarga Anandam will be Sindhagi, Pura Sindhagi Mekoka. That is why you learn Ayurveda, enjoy Ayurveda, feel Ayurveda, propagate Ayurveda, then you will become really Ayurveda. Then you need not call me. No, okay, of course, Asta Gasta Samyogam is enough. Asta Gasta Samyogam is good, but you should have Asta Pustaka Samyogam. Today, go back and take any Pustaka Mandi, Asta Pustaka Samyogam, then Pustaka Mastaka Samyogam. Bella, Sakajaja, E, Randa, Sundi, Rasna, Suradrumai, Sasindu, Vare, Desune, Asta Vargo, Anilabaga, Pustaka, Mastaka Samyogam, and Mastaka Manava Samyogam. All whatever you learn in Ayurveda should be taken to the public until and unless any science is getting public exposure, that science can never grow. So take the message from this hall. Patragar Bhavan se aapko kidar lena ke? I have to take to the field and give to the society. Naturally, you will be getting that is what I am telling. So I am telling you every time enjoy the science which you are learning. That is very simple until and unless you are doing, you are mechanically doing. Mechanical intelligence is not at all there. You need the natural intelligence. So that is diabetic neuropathy. Only because of Ashtavargam we talk about all these things. Okay, leave it. Don't leave Ashtavargam. This is <laughs> okay. The diabetic nephropathy, what is the line of management? 
in diabetic nephropathy you can see the uh, creatine level may go high blood urea nitrogen may go high and the albuminuria will be there if you see the presence of frothy urine phenyla mootra is indicating albuminuria and massive depletion of albumin will be changing the osmotic pressure then there will be edema kapaja prameha chikitsa and the nephrotic syndrome run together kapaja shobha chikitsa and nephrotic syndrome diabetic nephropathy uh, run parallel combination of panjagarma and dasaina medicated enema we are doing medicated enema with different types of kashaya especially desmola kashaya chilajit rasayana punarnavayi kashaya chandra prabhavadi shiva guliga all the drugs are there so vasti is very much mandatory in bringing down the level of serum creatine and do the desmola haridagi dendi haridagi chitraga haridagi all the combinations are very much important coronary artery disease line of management control cholesterol and hypertension and you can see garlic preparations arjuna milk chida bagam resona adi kashaya very 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 important resona karavi krishna only three drugs are there pradayana varasam prabhavara vadi all this medicine you can see damani pratijayam and resavaha srodha varodham that is typically there you very well know it is clearly mentioned in our science dushayitva rasam dosha viguna hridayam gada kriti badam prakruti ida hridrogam tam prajashade rasavahanam srodasam hridayam moolam you can see the abishandi as the block and the removing the abishandi as pramadi that is the coronary artery disease then some experiences i am sharing before concluding madhu yashtiyadi taila madhu yashtiyadi taila is a yoga mentioned in vadarakta chikitsa it is highly applicable in promoting the circulation in the peripheral limbs i am telling you due to diabetic ischemia the blood supply to the peripheral limbs will be especially lower leg will be affected and then you can prescribe madhyashtiyadi taila internally a very good drug in rakta avrata vadam diabetic ischemia then pitta grada vana maladi told you prameham medo dushti hyperlipidemia sneha vana pitta grada can be given diabetic retinopathy i care by systemic and local treatments panjagarma we are definitely do periodical virajana in diabetic retinopathy medications on head chida dara takkar dara depending upon the dosha eye drops pashupada varthi indraneela varthi and ilamir kodam so many drugs prepala treatment administration of ara this is very important vasha rasa vasha swarasam administering with tippali churnam is very much important in retinal bleeding then uh, updated shalaki tandra combined with uh, our our chilis especially kaidi so i am telling the important point to uh, just ignite your brain only five more minutes please listen i know you are very much tired five more minutes chakshus tejo mayam tasya visheshal sleshmana bhayam i is vascular if i is vascular if the main enemy is kapha any structure which is tejo mayam who will be the enemy the stuff enemy of the fire is water like that if i is vascular it will be contaminated by kapha dosha that is why always do kapha shodanam from the eye by rasanjanam or any type of anjana which will never cause sedimentation of kapha i is vascular the blood supply is very strong in eye but if it is inhibited by kapha the eye will become hypotic hypoxic and definitely you will be getting all the damage so removing the kapha from the eye is the mandatory principle in diabetic retinopathy that is why anjana kalpana netra segam netra anjana etc are widely practiced if there is a hemorrhagic episode dot and broad hemorrhage etc are there flame shaped hemorrhages are there then vashaadi kashayam vasha guduchari kashayam with pippadi churna are widely prescribed you can see normally eye is not like this eye is very 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 fluorescent orange in color but this eye is becoming black only because of diabetic ischemia and due to diabetic ischemia less oxygenation to the retina we call it as retinal hypoxia retinal hypoxia means low availability of oxygen to the retina then gradually you can see the tejomaya vascularity is compromised and that is why it is leading to diabetic retinopathy so i am concluding the holistic diabetic package herbal diet drink drug 3d important drug diet drink administration of tripala medications on head shira dhara taila dhara takkar dhara depending upon dosha takkar dhara kapam taila dhara vaadam shira dhara pittam and food care that is important diabetic neuropathy food care padadhyangam etc very important 
controlled diet, no abhishandi, uh, always pramadi, exercise, yoga, vipakta gana gatratam, yoga, meditation. So actually, diabetes control cannot be achieved by a single drug. It is the total lifestyle modification with a positive attitude. That is why Ayurveda and yoga is having that importance. So in short, what we need is a balanced natural diet to live fresh. That is important. Balanced natural lifestyle we should practice. Then only we can achieve it. Good diet, good exercise, regular drugs, no stress, further researches, public awareness program. Very important. You have to tell the public that there are so many lifestyle modifications in Ayurveda which you can control your diabetes and even reduce the risk of complication. Once public is getting more and more aware, they should go outside the four walls of the campus, then only they will be able to understand. So let us work together to save the God's own country from diabetes. So this is my conclusion. So I have, to, I have only one message to conclude. Prameha Chigilsa mentioned in classical textbooks are very much supporting the modern updated diabetic pathogenesis. So combine a combination of both with the further researches can definitely bring and next time when you get the patient, don't treat only according to the sugar level and identify and assess the dosha status, kapha stage, pitta stage, vada stage, with which dhada dushti, which srodo dushti, status of agni and whether he is undergoing ojashayam etc. Then diet, drug, drink supported by other holistic packages definitely you can so you can contribute a positive energy to the patient. That is why it is our responsibility to learn Ayurveda. So I am very happy that you all are here. And I am very happy to the organizers because they have tried their level, their best, best level, their level best to make such a program happen. Only my, on my, only one last sentence from my left ventricle. Why left ventricle? So left ventricle, learn Ayurveda, love Ayurveda, live Ayurveda. Learn Ayurveda with your Vada, love Ayurveda with your Pitta and live Ayurveda with your stable Stigatapa. Thank you, thank you very much.